Good evening. I'd like to welcome everyone tonight. Just to keep the beginning here. So this is hereby given of a regular meeting of the Board of Directors uh, to be held at 105 Hill Road, Texas, on August 9th, 2023, at the hour of 5.30 p.m. for consideration of the business of the agenda below. This notice is posted at the office of the district on August 3rd, 2023, at 4 p.m. in accordance with the Texas Open Meetings Act, Texas Urban Code. 5510415510, not less than 72 hours prior to the time of the session. Today we do have the presence of a quorum. Present, we have Dr. Lalonde, myself, Mr. Friedman. Uh, Mr. Stark, you join the meeting. He's uh, getting a cup of coffee. And we had uh, Mr. Donnie here. Absent today with notification, we had uh, Dave Barr. Let me please have everyone stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and the invitation. <coughs> Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day and all its blessings. Keep us ever mindful of our responsibility to serve our community. Bless us with wisdom and guide us in our decisions so that we may be better stewards. Give us clarity so that we can effectively tackle each part of today's agenda reveal problem areas, and lead us to the best solutions. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Good. Takes us on to item four, consider and discuss for possible approval of the amendments for the regular meeting from July 26, 2023. <coughs> motion for approval by Mr. Second to the All those in favor? Aye. Item five, general manager's report. I, uh, I was looking at the uh, water levels uh, since Monday. We've had a 25% a, a level, 25.0% since Monday. It's actually Sunday, but still Monday was 25%. So we got to take it from there uh, 30, 30 days. I think it's 30 days after that that, uh, that we have to monitor. And if it Rains in between, we just keep monitoring again. It will probably go up uh, over 25. But uh, if it keeps going lower than 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 uh, 25 for 30 days, we have to go with mandatory uh, drought management. But I will let you guys know as soon as we get there, and uh, it'll restrict uh, some of the usage. And we'll be keeping a good eye on the public, and we'll get complaints from people also. Where the neighbor is using water, so we probably have to go and talk to them. But uh, it'll be uh, uh, after 30 days, after Monday. And I think we have some rain coming in next week. What's the, can you maybe just for curiosity, what's the history of the number of times that we've had to actually call that? Uh, I believe like in 2011, we had one, and uh, a few years back, like maybe. It's not an every year. No, not every year. It's just every eight, ten years or so that, that it happens. I think it was 2003, the, the last one before that one. So, yeah, about every ten years. Uh, anyhow, uh, there's uh, no sign of hurricane either because the water is real cold at the beach. So, and I haven't seen anything reported in, in the Atlantic either. So. But a lot of times in, in September, it usually rains a lot. Uh, the reason that I know is because the dove season is, is uh, open at that time, and it's always muddy. So <laughs> we might get some rain in September again. Uh, and that's all I have for right now. Crazy idea. Maybe we had asking for rain or eloquent That'll work. That yeah, works. Farmer, farmers and that. Yes, great idea. Irrigators. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, we'll just uh, pray that in Jesus' name. Amen. You got it. Okay. Uh, and then uh, I do have, I wanted to mention it in the number three public comments that there's a, an invitation for a luncheon with a, uh, Senator La Mantilla. It's a chamber luncheon, right? They're going to be there at Margaritaville in the island. And then uh, Rep uh, Representative uh, Janie Lopez also. They'll be both there together. So 
we're gonna go. We we've already uh have four of our, our staff going with me, and uh, I think Scott's gonna go. If anybody else wants to go, so we can register, you guys. Be nice for 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 you for pushing for that desalination. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we'll we'll be uh, talking about pushing for desalination funding. So that's a good part to start off. Is that the no, no, no. That's that, no. I oh, think they're okay. for some other reason. Just a luncheon. I think it's just an hour and a half. But we're gonna stay there longer. I want to make sure that we do yeah. talk about it. That's a good opportunity. There you go. Right. When is that again? Uh, it's uh the twenty third of August. Uh, next board meeting on the twenty third. But it's at uh, eleven thirty in the morning. But uh, I, I have to register, you guys, if you wanna attend. So let me know. I've got Scott, I got you already. And I'll get uh, Dave Bowder as soon as I talk to him when he gets back. No problem. <clears throat> so, what else? Anything else? So, committees? Y'all got it covered for the committees? Budget? Um, insurance? Yeah, there's okay, an insurance. Um, later. Not right now. When, when I'll bring it up. Time. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's about it for me. Okay. That takes us to item six, director of operations report. Chairman, uh, the operations report for first reliance and the distribution area, service calls and call out. Relatively the same as in June. Uh, in July, we had 307 service calls for call outs, whereas in June, we had 270. And most of those were affected in the disconnect uh, customer uh, informational and change meetings. Uh, we felt change in meetings as they come in. Uh, we still have a backlog uh, of meetings that we haven't received uh, from you. Know, so with constant communication with us and trying to get those meters in. Uh, also, faulty transmitters uh, dropped uh, for this month of July. Uh, we had 21 in June and we didn't have any for uh, July. In the collections area, the uh, service call and call out uh, for July uh, was 64, where there were 60 uh, in June. And there was no major change there, no sort of living preventive maintenance. Uh, so, and uh, sewer cap was pretty much normal, uh, so to say, uh, for the collection area. And as well as in the pre treatment area, uh, they had the 22 uh, scope of work that they did, the occurred 24 in July. We keep that by two. Uh, other than that, there was no major. Let's take it to item seven, district engineer's report, Carl. I like the pace of play because I as a category great touch. Right, what we're looking here, what I want to take to say is basically that, you know, we can just follow the procedure of the That's a big number here. 
yes, like major. Number. I mean, how, how does that get this calculation? Well, it's not. It was. A, it was basically the enable. It was a request to do the review, and so the pricing for all that request came in yesterday. And so basically, I guess this would be a decision which we see yesterday to consider as far as um, basically the, the list of place. Let's walk this back for me for just a minute. Nine hundred thousand dollars got my closer to. So this is price projection to create the infrastructure that will be compatible with desalinization when it gets here. We can currently use with water treatment plant two, and this number is coming from bond money. Yes, we do have a available balance that series twenty two times one hundred. Is it? Are we? Are we? Are we? Uh, for lack of better analysis, robbing Peter to pay Paul? Is this money reallocated somewhere else that we are mm -hmm. sacrificing, or is this something we could afford within the rest of the scopes considered? What? Uh, let me. Let me. Uh... Uh, mentioned this uh, Charles had mentioned that it was a 1.6 uh, million availability that was there for that but it turned out to be 800,000 instead of 1.6 million so we're in the savings of like 700,000 yeah. 700 <laughs> so that's why I mentioned to him well if that's the the, the cost on it like 800 we're instead of well, well the, the, the balance that's uncovered for the tax is at 1.6 so that's what we have and that, and that wasn't in your mind or the minds of this team, kind of earmarked or something else. Well, well, what well, we did to to break up the gap was to do it in order to do the bond fund. That that could be one of the other That helps all the issues with respect to that. Okay, so that's on the agenda to do the bond fund for the first two different reports. Okay, so the, the second one is going to have a city as a reference. And so right now, we just reference. And uh, that's the only reason I said proceed with it because it was mentioned before uh, previous meetings to uh, move full steam ahead. So I said just send it out, and uh, we're saving that much money. Uh, let's do it. So we'll bring the 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 uh, the agenda item at the next board meeting for full the board approval. So okay. We just got ahead a couple of weeks, uh, so you. we can get ahead. Cool. I, I and, and that'll be ready for desalination, the microfiltration that's going up. We have a picture of the, the property out there. So, show it off. And it's like a, a photograph from way up there, but if you go to ground level, I thought we were gonna get a ground level picture, but it's like really nice. The elevation on, on that corner right there is already the same level as a water treatment plant. So you drive in there and it's like perfectly the same level. And then uh, the rest is being worked on, but it's really clear. As you can see, there, there used to be a whole bunch of uh, concrete uh, uh, pieces uh, everywhere and they got it cleared up and it looks real nice at ground level. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's our kind of
the seawater plant? No, the surface water. Okay. But the end of the ocean is the type of feed of the sea. Okay. Are you together? Okay. The second item A. Consider and discuss for possible approval of resolution number 2020820223, amending the district policy governing the annexation of land to the Green Mother Water District and the return of water and sewer service to the annex. Okay. 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 Mr. Starkey, if I could jump in here. Yes, sir. Um, we had talked, I think uh, it was hard to hear Charles, but I think you're talking about the uh, rate that we put in there in the in the annexation policy. Yes. So we had talked about it at our committee meeting of making it market rate, but I went back to the office and kind of talked to my partner about that. And, the mar and we're kind of working on something in regards to that, but the real the regional authority, the Rio Grande uh, Regional Water Authority, is the one that sets the market rate, and they've had some problems with the governor, who's refused to appoint people to that board. He got upset with them a while back, and so it's kind of ineffective and not meeting. And so the market rate uh, set by them may drag behind. So we don't want a developer saying like, "Well, this is the last rate that was set by the authority." Um, so I talked to Charles about it and he thinks that we can keep an eye on the rate at being 3,500 right now and every few years revisit it and amend the policy if necessary. And that's probably a better way to do it. I would agree. I haven't been in that meeting as it relates to this conversation. I think you did the appropriate action, especially considering the, the backseat of the politics as it relates to that position. So I'm in favor of, um, and we also discussed a checklist based on experiences that we had in, in the annexation process. It looks like that's what I'm looking at right here. That I say kudos to that. I think that's incredible. That was something we discussed in our meeting that the board member Tyler was a part of as well. Um, you know, I think it's always uh, important to learn from previous experiences, create processes to help avoid you know, any oversight in future experiences. And it looks like you've done that. So great job. The only comment I have which really doesn't matter to me. I'm not a guy of title. But at the bottom of this, it has Dr. Lamont as secretary. I think I'm the secretary. Yes. Yeah. That was my error. Okay. And, and the signature of page in, in Scott's current as a Okay, cool. Then that was the only thing I saw. Everything else looks great. Uh, is this an action item? I'm sure it is because there was an amendment that took place. Is there anything else that needed to be discussed? Do you have the full uh, uh, favor of, of me and, and Mr. Bowder, who said in the annexation meeting, I think you guys did everything we talked about. So um, I would make a motion that we approve. Motion for approval made by Mr. Stark and second by Mr. Donahue. All those in favor? Aye. If there are any opposed, then motion is carried. Thank you. So we'll board our new uh, members. Section item nine, director of finance report, schedule a budget committee meeting with uh, William Donahue and Dr. Lawrence. Oh, schedule a committee. budget workshop. So we're, uh, we're going through our, our uh, budgeting process and we're just not waiting to uh, get a draft to do uh, our budget. But, uh, so there's a Available 
until <laughs> it takes time. We've been down this one before. Yeah. 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 Um, what about uh, we also need insurance keeping? Uh, I am here uh, to. So just keep, uh, you have keep on proceeding. Are you ready? <laughs> Can you meet with us in total of 10 minutes? <laughs> okay. Um, Betty, it sounds like that took you by surprise, so why don't you, uh, so you're not on the spot, go back and think about what you got to reschedule your life, <laughs> starting with the soonest possible, possible day, the 29th, when Mr. Donnie is back in town. Yeah. You don't want to, I mean, there's no <clears> sense <throat> you just standing there. Not ready to agree after that. So and then started. after that, we'll be looking at the workshop too. So. Yeah. Okay, sorry. On that note, uh, I would encourage everyone that has workshops. Let's let's get as much notice as we can. Let's let's anticipate that no one's available for two weeks. Like let's start planning these things. Dare I say a month out you know, as we move forward this one. Workshop I would recommend October. What were you thinking? Okay. Well, the budget has to be increased. Uh, right. right. So, you can email that. You can text that on our, on our board members' text for communication purposes. Whatever. Um, we don't have to do that now. So let's start thinking about the rest mm -hmm. of this year. Like we typically, all of us, I believe, have our year planned out. Get the large part. Yeah. I mean, some of us are re retired, and duly and and deservingly, you know. So we got to we got to respect everyone's schedule. Yeah, I have like every minute planned out in my life. We now he's one of my clients. Trust me, he does. You know. What I mean? <clears throat> okay, um, so we'll be we'll be in touch next month. Are you really serious? It says by the end of this week. Because every day that goes is my schedule fills up that, that one more day. Like uh, we need to go back to item eight, we need to take action on it. Item eight is so far, we, 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 do we feel like eight? I I made a motion someone to say yeah. Okay, so I'll be a second okay. and I think it was unanimously yeah. passed. Yes. Yeah. Is that correct? Yes. Yes, yeah, that is true. Yep, that's right. right. Uh, okay, moving on to uh, yeah, that sounds like it. <laughs> Item 10, consider and discuss for possible approval of the proposed tax rate for the Jim Aubrey Water District and on Iron Village designated area to be published in the notice of a public hearing to be held August <clears throat> 23rd, 2023 at 5 30 p.m. and subsequently adopt a tax rate at the regular meeting following the public's hearing. So, uh, I have a copy of the tax rate for the this year is the assessment for the final three cents. Uh, and next year it will be three, five, six. So yeah. Keep we have a maximum that it could be, right? Yeah, so uh, just a reminder this rate is is uh, a debt service rate only. We don't have any maintenance and operation rate. So we only raise no taxes to pay next year's debt pay. And so uh, because we, we make our uh, payments, our debt schedule level, um, uh, we're, we're pretty much uh, uh, stays, stays the same. And we change it mostly based on property values right now. That's 
Record, we need a motion, Mr. Starkey in favor of, uh, Mr. Friedman in favor of, Dr. Lawan in, in favor of, in favor of, Mr. Donahue in favor of the current proposed tax rate for both for both uh, Long Island and uh, Cameron or the Library Water District. Three, three, Does that suffice, Council? Brian, is that a one? sufficient roll call vote? I believe so. Great job. Great. Item 11, consider and review expenditures from July 15, 2023 to July 31st, 2023. Need everyone to acknowledge them. Any questions about one specific? Acknowledged by Dr. Long, acknowledged, acknowledged by Mr. Friedman, acknowledged by Mr. Starkey, and acknowledged by Mr. Donnie. Uh, take this to item 12, consider and remove from the table the following executive session item table at the regular meeting on July 16th. I'm sorry, on July 26, 2023, deliberation regarding the evaluation of district employee to a general manager by 51074. Uh, no action at this time. Uh, item 13, executive session permitted by the Open Meetings Act. Uh, we don't have a full quorum, so there's no action at this time. Uh, item 14, uh, consideration in uh, executive session if necessary. No action taken. That takes us to item 15 that adjourns this meeting at uh, 6.59 p.m. Thank you.